Dr. Martin Luther King famously said, in the end, we will remember not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. This has been the most painful moment in modern Jewish history. Hamas knew what they were doing and executed their plan in order to maximize Jewish pain. Think about the worst things you could do to someone. They were all present in the October 7th massacres. Home invasions, rape, even the rape of children, unthinkable. Beheading, burning people alive, the way they tortured families, the way they made them suffer, and so much more for which, yes, there is extensive evidence to the sick ghouls who question it. Much of that evidence, of course, was provided by Hamas themselves, who used GoPros to video and proudly broadcast their sick depravity. And then, of course, the kidnappings. The psychological trauma inflicted on the survivors of October 7th was compounded by their anxiety, week in, week out, for their loved ones. Hamas knew the pain point of the Jewish people. We love life. So they held that over the heads of all of us, showing what they were capable of during that massacre, while denying information about whether loved ones, young or old, men, women, kids, were healthy or even alive. This truly was a crushing time to be Jewish or Israeli. And yes, we will remember the silence of our friends, or should I say, former friends. Those who we thought were our friends and were happy to have us as allies for their cause, but when we needed them, they were nowhere to be seen. But more than that, we will recall the voice of our real friends. We will forever remember the voices of those who stood out of their comfort zone, those who were not intimidated by the mob, those who spoke up, stood up, posted, shouted, lobbied, rallied, helped. Our eyes are open, we see the bystanders, but we will always remember and stand together with the upstanders.